Hey guys, Superbro Mike here, and today we are playing Boris and the Dark Survival. Now this is the new game from Joey Drew Studios, creators of Bendy and the Ink Machine, and of course it is filling the gap between Bendy and the Ink Machine and Bendy and the Dark Revival. Now I don't know how it ties into the series yet, but I'm thinking it's probably about Boris before he met Henry and finding stuff for his like, little secret hideout that Henry obviously hides out in, in Chapter 3 with Boris, but I'm not sure at the moment. It's meant to have new story information, secrets, lore, all that good stuff so there should be theories and secrets videos that we can make on this game after we complete it but for now guys i think we should just dive in and see what boris and the dark survival is all about once there was a wolf living in a very dangerous world surviving on anything he could find and fearing the ink demon that stalked his every move. Well, the intro is pretty cool. I like those little sort of pieces of artwork there. I'm guessing this is all just about Boris, as I say, before he met Henry, living in the studio in fear of the ink demon and trying to find supplies. Um, yeah, because we're actually in his hideout. And if you look at the layout of his hideout, we've got the table there, the exit there, and then round here, is this where the collage was? Where we saw the half human, half wolf collage? Yes. But it's got zero out of seven at the moment. So obviously we have to find the pages to make up the collage. And maybe if we do that, we might get like the origins of Boris. Maybe we'll find out who Boris actually is. Because of course we think currently, or well, at least if you follow my theories, I'm currently being theorizing that he is Buddy, the character from the book. But originally I thought he was perhaps Wally Franks. Uh, maybe this game is going to shed some light on that mystery, I'm not sure. We've got his little stove over here, little ukulele. That's cute, you can actually play the ukulele. We've got little flashlight helmets, so we'll pick that up. There we go. You can now see around. And we've got a record player here. And it says find tunes to unlock, so it looks like there's three alternative tunes to unlock to play while we're in the hideout. But this is really cool. Oh wait, is he dancing then? Oh yeah, look, he is, he's dancing. There you go, guys, look. That's kind of cute. So we can make him dance with there's one little secret, I guess. I don't know if that is a secret, but it's something. So here's bacon soup, and it looks like we eat bacon soup to replenish the bar on the right of the screen. It says by running, we use bacon soup, and yeah, you can see it going down there when we run around. So we obviously need to keep refilling from these bacon soup stations, from these little vending machines, to make sure that we have enough stamina to outrun Bendy. Hide in little miracle stations. Ah, so this is just like Bendy Meat Machine then. So that's how we escape him, I'm guessing. We've got a box over here. What's this? We can't open that yet. So I'm guessing this is one of the secrets. Perhaps this is a secret that unlocks if we find all the secret pages. Or perhaps like all the records for the music box. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have to wait and see. And then this is where we deposit the supplies when we find them, I guess. And this must be the elevator. We take down... So here we go, let's go and explore the studio. Day one, level K. Ah, nice. Okay, so we're on level K. Which of course we explored in the game. I don't know if the layout's going to be the same. I think this is randomly generated. We've got a tape player here. Uh, a person shouldn't live for their coffee break. But uh, you try having Sammy songs playing all day in your head, over and over and over, like a parade. Your front row to the bass drum solo. So I'm just here for the coffee and the choir. Hey, uh, coffee and choir. That would be a bad song lyric. Where's my pencil? There we go, guys. That is, of course, a character we're all familiar with, Jack Fane there. So uh, he's complaining about Sammy as usual. Oh, and here we go. We've got... Is that a scrap of paper? Yes, one scrap for the safe house found. Nice. So we've already got one scrap, and we've got an audio log from Jack Fane, giving us some new story information there. I'll put some subtitles on the screen, because I didn't notice any appear when I played it. And you can kind of see from the graphics as well, guys, this seems to be the updated game engine that they're using for Dark Revival, because you can see the textures actually have a lot more definition to them and stuff. So it seems we're getting our first glimpse at how the visuals will look in uh, Bendy and the Dark Revival, because they do look a bit nicer than... Uh, the original game. The lighting looks a bit better as well. But of course this isn't first person like that game's gonna be. 
No sign of Bendy yet, which is good. I shouldn't run everywhere because if we look at our bacon soup level, our stamina, it's already like below halfway. That is not a good thing. Oh, Bendy's there. Okay, luckily we've got a little miracle station. There we go. Is he going to go? I thought he was going to rip the door off then, but he's gone. We should be safe. I feel like it's going to be a lot harder to avoid him in this game than in Bendy the Ink Machine because, I don't know, the levels are randomly generated for a start. I'm not going to have time to learn them as well. Um, okay, we've got another item. Oh, I think that's the last item we need. The bone. Yes. Oh, that scared me. Those pipes went off. Kind of took me by surprise. Oh, look, it says look here. What's this? Ooh. Just a chair. Strange. I don't know what that means. Now, I'm going to keep looking, guys, because... You know what, actually? I'm going to take the bone. I'm going to just go. Screw it. I'm going to go. Oh, Bendy's coming. Okay. I'll hide. Hopefully he won't get us. That's right. You didn't see anything. It was all in your head, Bendy. Just go and do your... I don't know what ink demons get up to. Hiding in the walls. Oh damn, he's coming back, man. What the heck? Okay, we've got to wait. We've got to wait him out. The problem is the elevator is in the room that he's like running towards. So... We have to just try and run back to it. Oh my god, that's so close. We made it. That was so lucky. I actually thought he was going to get us then because like... He was so close. He must have just missed us by like a hair then. Either way, we've got all the items. We can put them in the supply uh, box. There we go. Supply secured. Can we access this yet? Nope. Let's go and check the main room and see if that scrap of paper has appeared on the wall. Because I believe it's probably making up the collage from the original game. Yep, it most definitely is. Look, we've got the head there. We need six more pieces. So let's get going and move to day two, I guess. Here we go, day two level J. So day one wasn't too tough, but Bendy is a lot more active than he was in uh, chapter three of Bendy and Meat Machine, which is the only chapter in the original game we really ran into him um, randomly. And so far, this is really cute. I like the animations. I like the art style as always. Uh, the updated graphics are nice and yeah, it's kind of cool. It's like, you know, it's got this hide-and-seek sort of gameplay. Um, oh god, there's Bendy already. Already, guys. I'm going to have to run back to the start to hide, I think. Alright, let's hide here. And, yeah, I like the way that it's kind of balances, you know, stealth with... Um, obviously balancing your stamina and then collecting stuff and finding secrets. And you have to decide by the look of it whether you want to you know sort of gamble to look for all the secrets or whether you just want to collect everything and get out the stage quickly I don't know how many days there will be I definitely want to try and look for all the secrets if possible so I think I'm going to gamble and if it takes us a bit longer to beat the game because of that well that's just a risk I'm willing to take you know got another thing to hack here another locker and the hacking gets faster oh nice we've got another piece of scrap paper that's good so we've found two now of seven. Only five to go. Oh, I can hear Bendy. You hear Bendy by his heartbeat, um, even before you see the ink, so... He's... He was definitely around this area. Yeah, he's coming up fast. Okay. Let's get to a hiding place. The good thing is, we're faster than Bendy in this game, so he can't actually catch us until we run out of stamina. Boris is quite nimble, but um, obviously running out of stamina is quite easy because it doesn't last for long. We need to keep finding vendors with bacon soup. Let's take a little look. We need to find any audio logs that we can get. That's the most important thing for me to find at the moment because they're, they're what really interests me, you know. Uh, we found the scrap paper for this level, so we don't have to worry about that. That's the final item we need. So we just need to look if there's uh, an audio log here. I don't think there is. I actually don't think there is. So I'm just going to try to get to the elevator. Oh man. Okay. Oh, he's coming for us. I think we're going to get killed. Because there's no way I can outrun him now. 
Oh, he's gonna get us jump scare incoming, guys. That's a cool jump scare, though. I like that. That's a lot better than the original one we got in Bendy Ink Machine, where it just kind of threw us into the sort of reanimation portal. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a, an element of balancing your stamina with like exploring in this game, and that's where the sort of um, skill comes into it, I guess. We've got another look, um, sort of point in the wall here and it says embrace your demise so that's a different one we've unlocked now guys these are like i think just little easter eggs i don't think they mean too much but they might uh, maybe if we find like all of the look points they actually make up a secret message or some kind of secret meaning um you know that that actually means something to us i don't know oh here we go we've got to hide again bendy is showing back up I do think the one criticism I have with this game so far is that Bendy does show up an awful lot, like sometimes to the point where it's really hard to progress because like he'll just constantly show up and get in your way. It just seems like he's a bit too aggressive his AI at the moment. It can cause a little bit of frustration going back and forth. Oh, we've got another look point. Let's have a look. Surrender to the machine. Hmm. So the messages are changing when we look through those look points. Oh, here we go. We've got to go back now. Um, okay. We're going to drink some soup. Quickly get back. Bendy will come for us here. We're going to wait here, guys. We're going to wait for Bendy to arrive. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Right. We're going to wait here. Let him come for us. And then we're going to trick him. Look. And go. There you go. Look at that. That's how you trick Bendy. Nice and simple. We'll go back this way. Wait, was that a secret there? I don't know. Either way, that's day three done. So that's three days we've done now. I've, I haven't found any songs yet, though, which is strange. Like, I felt like I would have found some by now. Maybe they're not hidden in the lockers, like, the notes. But I feel like they probably are. We'll hop straight into day four, see what that has in store for us. We've got a recording here straight away. So that was Norman Polk. We just uh, caught the end of that before Bendy chased us away. And he was saying he heard something in the floorboards below his projection booth. And if you've read the novel Dreams Come to Life, the Bendy novel, you'll know that obviously that was Bendy stashed in the infirmary below. That's sort of tying into the book and where Norman first heard Bendy making moaning sounds uh, after he was born out of a machine in the studio. So that's kind of interesting to hear that from the audio log directly there. We're getting lots of little sort of bits of extra lore from these recordings. They're not like super like bombshells or anything so far, but it's kind of nice to have a little bit of additional information about the studio from them. I don't know how many characters are being included, but so far we've had Jack Fane uh, and Norman Polk, and I know I heard Wally Franks in the trailer, so it seems like we're going to get quite a few characters. Oh, I can hear Bendy that way. Let's go this way. Oh, what's this? A heart? Heck is that? That's terrifying. Oh, there's a little miracle station. We need that. No! I just died, guys, and I picked up a heart, and I don't know what the heart does, but it looks like it's super rare because it wasn't one of my, like, key items that I needed. In fact, the heart might have even opened this box for all I know. Let's go and check it. Hasn't done anything, I don't think. We'll go back into the main room and check in case collecting that heart's done anything. No, not what I can see. I feel like if we had gone back with that heart, it would have probably given us something quite cool. So I'll go back in, guys, and I'll see if I can complete stage four. And then we'll probably call it a video there, I think, for part one. Here we go, guys. We've just unlocked our first record. So that's one of the songs unlocked now. New safe house tune found. That's awesome. Okay. So one of the safe house tunes has been unlocked, which is pretty awesome. See if we can crack this one as well. Oh. Bendy is on the prowl. No. Oh, I 
did not want to do that. <laughs> he just wouldn't, like, get out of the locker then. I think I was meant to press the X button to get out, but I didn't. I was trying to unlock it. But luckily, we unlocked it, even though there wasn't actually anything useful in there. Oh, we've got Bendy coming for us. Where is he there? Okay. I think we can do this. All we have to do is collect the bone there and get back to the elevator, which I think is here. Nice. That's actually quite a good run, guys. That's day four complete. If we go to our music, uh, to our little radio, before we quit out today, yet yeah, we can see we've got two of the four tunes unlocked. So there we go, guys. So I think for now, I'm going to end this first part here. Thanks for watching if you have stopped by today. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I'll probably do like a part two where we sort of unlock a little bit more. But what part two will probably be is just me showing you, you know, like everything I've unlocked throughout the game so basically instead of playing it like I have today in a video you know where I'm sort of doing a let's play I'll probably sort of do a narration over like a montage of gameplay showing you all the secrets that I've managed to find but this has been just the first look at Boris and the Dark Survival and I hope you've enjoyed it today guys this is of course a game that's come out for Bendy's birthday so uh, Bendy's now three years old and Dark Revival of course coming soon or sometime this year this is a nice like way to sort of fill the time before we get that game yeah I would recommend picking it up it's only a dollar if you enjoyed this video and you want to play it yourself, just go and pick it up on Steam or Google Play. I think it's on as well. So with that said, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching today. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.